Last week, the news crew asked for your responses concerning the countywide mask mandate in schools and whether it should be kept or not. The mask mandate is decided by the Pasco Schools Administration and is not put in place by administrators or teachers at any individual school. Out of the over 40 replies received through email, Twitter, and Facebook, the responses are in the majority for keeping the mandate. While most agreed that the mask mandate should continue, some believe that the mandate should be optional or just shouldn't be required at all. Here's some of the actual responses we've received from parents, students, and teachers. At least keep the mask through the holiday season. Older at-risk members of our River Ridge families are coming in for the holidays, and it would be nice to try to reduce the risk in the most populated place our kids attend. If it's not required, no one will wear one. So far, it's been decreasing the cases. It needs to be required. It should just be gotten rid of as a requirement. It adds a lot of stress to the teachers and the kids don't comply, so it is kind of pointless. Having masks at school is one of the only weapons we currently have to fight this battle that COVID that we are in the midst of. Whether people believe that COVID is a real threat or not, there are guidelines for exposure put in place by the Department of Health that must be followed. It is absolutely criminal to mask our children and I will not stop fighting this until they are removed. It's sickening how the school is doing this to these children and you think the lawsuits are bad now, just wait till down the road when all these health issues start arising. The masks need to go now. Keep the masks. Keep masks. Keep masks. Keep the masks. Stop the masks. Science. Why would you stop requiring masks when we know the country will be going through a second wave, which could also already be starting now as we are seeing an increase in cases again? This question posed on Twitter is irresponsible. My dad is a teacher and he regularly has students suddenly put in his online Zoom calls due to being in contact with COVID-19 positive people, often without his knowledge, yet the mask mandate is still being questioned.